All right, so we finished the, whatchamacallit, the wind trial in this episode, so I'm not that worried about trying to go back to the battlefield to search for Heldolf right now. Right now, I would much rather... Have I already been... Is this the way I just was? No, that's different. Okay. We're going to get to the end of this and see where it goes, and also pick up any items on the way. There's another save point. That's weird. Get away, you Nova freak. I wonder why there's another save point just outside of where the uh, we just had a save point. But anyways, we're going to... Oh my goodness. No thank you. I will pass on fighting that freak of nature. Let me just, like, sneak by it. Ah, oh, crap. Does this way not go far enough? On the other side, it connects. Okay, good. I need to get past this thing without actually having to fight it. That thing is huge. That's got to be some kind of mega mini-boss. We will deal with that thing later. I kind of want to do a run-through of all the mini-bosses, if I can, in the post-game. Or when I get strong enough, I guess, when we're near the end of the game. I don't know when I'll do it, but I would like to go through and beat all of the mini-bosses. I don't even know if they're considered mini-bosses. That's just what I call them for simplicity's sake. But I definitely know that there is a giant blue mini-boss squid on Camelot Bridge for future reference. Is there an item over here? Uh, it does not look like it. Just trying to keep my eyes open for chests. Don't want to miss out on any potentially amazing items. Uh, nothing down there either. That's a dead end, isn't it? Yeah, dead ends because it goes to the next area. Uh, it definitely looks like the end of Camelot Bridge. We might have, like, one more section of the bridge to run on, but we're definitely near the end of it. Does this lead out of Rolance into a different, like, uh, nation? I wonder. We've only been in Highland and Rolance so far. We're in Zafko Moor. So this is the way of that city she was talking about that she wanted to see. This place is huge. Holy crap. And I bet you that, uh, I don't know what's down there, but I bet you that this ruin up here is the ruin that they were talking about that, um... This reminds me of Madagascar. I don't know why, but I just saw, like, the deserty thing with those kinds of trees right there. Like, are those called baobab trees, I think? But this kind of area reminds me of Madagascar for some reason. It's the first thing that came to my mind. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Anyways, we're gonna go up here to this, like, little, uh... I assume it's a ruin that's up here. And possibly in this ruin, it's the... What was it called? The Gladden Ruin or something like that? Ganglin? I think it was Ganglin. Or Ganlin. I don't know. But it's possibly the ruin that Maven is in, so we can talk to him and finish this side quest, hopefully, finally. Unless he's gone somewhere else again. Which is entirely possible for Maven. That dude is nomadic. He does not sit anywhere for long. But I definitely need to make sure I open up any save points I see, so that if I need to come here later for the main story, which I assume I will, uh, I will have save points already open. I want to fight that elephant. This thing is going to catch me. Yeah. Lycanthrope. This thing is fast. You're weak to fire. Good to know. I am low on health. That's not good. You resist wind when I'm trying to see my wind mystic art, so that's bad for me. These things jump a lot. I just need to get, a, like, two of them killed before they start swarming me, because that, I can already see them swarming me being a problem. They're level 43, that's not too bad, and about 6,000 health, that's pretty ridiculous. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they take a lot of damage, they don't have much in the way of defense. They jump a lot, though, that's annoying. If they had all started jumping at once at the very start of the battle, I bet that would have been a big problem. Die, you stupid lycanthrope thing. You're a werewolf, basically. Just just die. Isn't lichen like another word for a werewolf or something like that? I don't remember. Look at this five-digit damage combo we had going on. Jeez, that was ridiculous. Yeah, we got stamina to the spare. It's awesome. I want to fight this uh, elephant thingy. Where am I going? Forward and then curve left. What does this say? Is this going to tell me the ruins are this way? Uh, Logren, the tower remains. Great Camelot Bridge. Horse of Village Oasis. And then northeast is Tri's old Cave. So this is not what I thought it was, but I want to see if there's a save point over here I can use. Are you weak to fire? Well, you're not weak to fire. You're weak to wind. Duly noted. Let me take advantage of that right now, buddy. Don't don't restrain my attacks. You're weak to this. Don't worry. I am so close to four uh, Blast Gods. I want to see this Mystic Art so bad. You have no idea. It's the only armatized Mystic Art we haven't seen yet. I'm pretty sure I'm going to kill these things before I get to use it. 
much health do you have? Not much. Neither of them do. All right, here we go. Let me see if I can get it. That was pretty awesome. It was a little basic, but it was epic enough that it doesn't matter. Like, just sword rain down, then an explosion. I like it. Edna's is still my favorite. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Lila's Mystic Art. It's simple, like, I say simple, he rained down a bunch of green swords. Like, you know, you kind of, he's got the sword wings, kind of expected. But it's kind of simple what it does, you just rain down a bunch of swords, then explosion. Just like Lila, it's just you cover yourself in fire and then swing the blade in a, like, complete spin for more velocity. So it's kind of basic, but I like it. It looks awesome. I definitely think Edna's is the best, in terms of just looks alone. I don't- I, I imagine all of them do roughly the same damage depending on the enemy's weaknesses and resistances. Alright, Trizold Cave. So this is not where I need to be at the moment. But I just wanted to step in here to see if there was a save point I could activate. I did activate the save point just outside of it though, so we can now uh, teleport here. Or teleport to Zafko more and be right next to it, so that's good. That is now possible for us. We need to get over to that city. How much time do I have? Uh, I've got about seven minutes, so yeah, it should take about that much time to get to the city and, like, get into the city and see what it's all about. And we'll probably wrap up inside of that city. That is a giant, uh, is that a ruin? That doesn't, it's not listed as a door or anything. This is also the wrong way to go, but I want to see what's over here. There might be a save point I can activate for later. I don't have time for you right now, Mammoth. I'll deal with you later. What is over here? There's a Norman, for one. We're gonna grab this Norman. I see you chilling out over there, buddy. Prepare to, uh, boost up my it's weapons. Here. It is here. Good call. Uh, Anther. Ability against Therian. Sounds good. Alright, cool. Thanks, dude. That's another Norman down. What is this? Is this, like, on the Celestial Record? Will it, like, be a recognized area? It doesn't look like it. I wonder what's up with this place. It's weird that it won't let me go in it. Definitely something worth looking into later. It's probably got something to do with the story later on, I would imagine. And it's not letting me go in right now because it's story related. And I shouldn't get in there beforehand. So I'm going to assume that Heldolf is actually back at the battlefield. And that's the reason why he isn't blocking. Look at this awesome texture on these bushes. Do you see this? What? <laughs> what is that? But anyways, I'm going to assume that he is actually back at uh, the battlefield, so we shouldn't run into him blocking our path anymore. I wonder if we can actually break his domain now, or if we have to do more stuff other than just the, uh... Gotta go up. If there's some other step we have to take before we can actually just cleave through his, uh, barrier or whatever it is, his domain. I'm pretty sure the mural thing said that we would be able to break through the Lord of Calamity's domain if we had all four spiritual powers, didn't it? I think that's what it said. Unless the guy who read it to us lied, the Pope, Macedra. I can't remember what his name- he changed his name now that he's the uh, village chief, but I can't remember it. I remember that he's a uh, Pope Macedra, though, before that. Get burned. There is an elephant here. Focus on these guys first. They're more of a threat, in my opinion, because they're faster. Ah oh, yes, look at all this wondrous damage that I'm going to deal to you. Yes, feel the pain of the power hits, you stupid lichen wolf thing. Stop jumping at me and die. Alright, that's one down. Two lichens to go, along with an elephant. Don't run away from my attacks, let me hit you. Here we go, come on, come on. Dang it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, they did a lot of damage to that elephant, he's gotta be low on health. I'm about to go down. I went down. I need Lila. Alright, sweet. Thank you, Lila. Come here, you stupid wolf things. I think the elephant is dead. Pretty sure. Get out of here. Quite a fearsome fighting style. From my standpoint, you're the one that's fearsome. Yeah, Edna is pretty fearsome, I have to say. She pretty scary. Pretty scary indeed. Alright, this uh, city looks like it's a busted up place. That is the impression I get. There's also, there's more to this section of the continent that we can go on, because down there is another pathway to, like, that's the field symbol. Like, that's a whole other field like this one is. So I wonder where that leads. Possibly to the ruins I need to get to to meet up with Maven. I gotta figure out where those ruins are. 
been chasing Maven all across the continent. All right, here we are. Logren, the tower remains. Got the save point active. Let's go and do these side quests before I wrap up for today. I got a few more minutes. Can't you give us a break on the medicine at least? Sorry, I'm already putting my life on the line. Hey, mister, don't you know that you're getting ripped off? I know, but in this region, traveling merchants are the only people we can count on. But five times the market rate is just too much. There's a rampaging elephant in Zafgot Moor that is attacking merchant caravans. The danger involved caused the prices to skyrocket. If it's just an elephant, aren't there plenty of ways to deal with it, like running away or setting a trap? But it has wiped out many cavalries and armed troopers. Definitely sounds fishy. Could you possibly be the shepherd? Oh, yes. My name is Sere. Oh, my. We've heard a lot about you. Your hope for this world. Please, do your best. Please, let us know if you need anything. I pray we can be of use to you. Thank you. Just saying that means a lot. I'm surprised at how pious they are. That's how it's always been in Logren. They must admire and respect the Shepherd full-heartedly. Even though they're in a state like this. Isn't that where you come in, as the real Shepherd? Looks like it. Alright, so I'm assuming this elephant is a Hellion we have to go deal with. Uh, da da We need to find us an elephant Hellion. Uh, there might be an Irish German horse of village. Can't leave the crucibles as they are. I think I'm getting tired of this chase, Maven. Are you kidding? Now I'm really fired up. We'll corner the slippery old dude for sure this time. Yeah, definitely. Get moving, Sarai. Next stop. Western Bolt's Ganglion, Ganglion Ruins. Western Bolt. We haven't been there before, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Turtle with a map. I, I walked past him and then started talking to him. Okay. Well, there's another map down. Are there still more maps? Or is it, like, done? Oh, I think that was it. Was that the last map? I think we're good on maps now. That would honestly be really nice. I would be very pleased to be done with buying maps from the stupid turtle. Hey, Norman. Hey there, buddy. I got a nice home for you. Uh, go ahead and buff this. Fire attack power plus 10. Uh, wait a minute. Is this better than... The, is this feldspar paper better than the paper that Lila is currently using? Uh, Floric is not really... Kinda, I might change it to that. Oh, this is nothing but a boost. So yeah, Feldspar is better. Floric gives a bit more defense, but it's too much magic loss, IML. So, Feldspar paper, and that's what I'm going to put the uh, this Norman on, because it's a fire boost, and that's exactly what Lila needs. I really need to do some... Uh, I think I might do that next time, just do some weapon maintenance in the next episode. That might be something worth doing. We'll see. I've got about another minute or two, so let's look around really quick before we get out of here. What's this over here? Oh, a Sarah. Like ah, how round it was. It was the roundest I've ever seen in my 2,000 years. Too round. It was as if a dream had come to life. A dream of roundness. What are we talking about? How should a mind react to such spherical perfection? I had to avert my unworthy gaze. Such was its cosmic beauty. Who knew that Tri's old cave was home to such wonders? Spherical perfection? You don't think it's Armadillon? He said it was in Tri's old cave. Let's head on over there. Armadillon? What is Armadillon? Is that like an armadillo, uh, Hellion? It doesn't list it as a, uh, side quest. That's weird. We'll look into that later. Hopefully I remember to. Looks like we can go to an upper... Ah, there's the gold chest. I need to do that, uh... That side qu or That, uh, optional dungeon. Seems like that rain over in the capital has finally moved on. Yep, it has. Do they have the Seraphim's Blessing? They don't have a Lord of the Land here, it says. Huh. Anyways, let's go ahead and save and call it a day. I've got to get going to ref soccer. I love refing soccer, but it is such a hassle sometimes. This is actually the last uh, day of games of the season, so I will be done with refing soccer. And I've only got two and a half weeks left in uh, my semester, so I cannot wait. I'm about to be on winter break. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to have so much time to record stuff. I'll finish up this game, hopefully before then or around then. 
And then Xenoblade Chronicles X is coming out December 4th. I'm super hyped for that. I'm going to be doing a full playthrough of it, just like I've been doing with this game. So I hope that if you guys enjoy Xenoblade Chronicles X, you will check it out. It's a JRPG. It's the spiritual successor of Xenoblade Chronicles, which was a great game. One of my favorite games of all time. So, yeah. Anyways, all of that aside, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time where we are going to possibly do more side quests or possibly go looking for Heldolf. I'm not sure yet. Until then, farewell.